Hi guys, I'm here with Gavin from Sydney Hackerspace, the mechatronics guy, and yes, I got my t-shirt for the uh, Ross 30 t-shirt. I was supposed to pick it up from the uh, been meaning to give it to him space. for about three months now. Well, I've been meaning yeah. to go actually pick yeah. it up from the space, but I've been a lazy bastard. And um, we're here at the Sydney Maker Fair That's uh, right. meeting, and um, ta-da! So there you go, I got it. Thank you very much, Gav. No worries. And there's lots of cool and stuff next. in Gav's boot. Oh I'll yes, a there's tour next time, so, oh yeah, no, and there's a robotic so. arm on his back seat, but I'm not allowed to show that apparently. Actually, show that. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. Here's the robot. Here, here we go. We've got an impromptu look Let at me his. Just take off the travel tether. Yeah. So this is a variant of the clam arm from Cornell. The clam arm. It's Cornell, uh, uh, as in uni. As in university. Um, they Cornell open University. The design. Right. Um, it uses the Dynamixels, which are like hobby servos, but they give you feedback. So you can say, motor number four, give me your current and give me your temperature, and it returns the data back. Right. Um, and I put it on this very long slide to increase the range of the arm. Yep. Um, uh, so this will probably be a chess playing robot or something, or just a general purpose right. arm in the future. Cool. I like it. And how long did it take you to build that? Um, been going on with this one for a few months now, and I still mm -hmm. got to do a, a lot of the, the actual wiring and stuff. But yep. The uh, the slide is my own idea to to increase the range, and uh, mm -hmm. this one is actually medical waste. So, oh, awesome. Uh, <laughs> we're scrapping some machines and uh, some medical processing machines, and it's some very nice, high quality, high, well machined stuff. So yeah. fantastic. Well done. I like it. Thanks, Gav. Catch you later. Dave. Catch you next time.